how to install Android 11 Developer Preview 1 on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android 11 Developer Preview 1 on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11 Global Stable Version 11.0.3.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader, then you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video. Also make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any issues like boot loops, encryption issues, you'll have to do a format data from to a recovery in which case you're going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Next thing, make sure that you are running MIUI 11 based on Android 10 on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. If you are running MIUI 11 based on Android Pie, then I'm not sure whether this process will work for you or not. Another thing you need to ensure is that your device is decrypted. How do you find that out? You can go into settings, password and security, and then you'll go into privacy encryption and credentials tells me that my device is not encrypted or phone not encrypted how do you decrypt your redmi k20 pro i have a separate video for that as well which is again linked in the description of this video first thing we need to do is we'll go into settings password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once you've removed the security measures go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures reboot your device once i repeat make sure that you have rebooted your device once you have removed all the accounts and security measures why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from me ui 11 based on android 10 to android r or android 11 and i don't want you peeps to be locked out of your own device what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and these are the files which you need you need disable forced encryption zip file then you need the android r or android 11 a b gsi image dot 7z file and then you need the pixel experience rom for the redmi k20 pro other than that you also need an application called z archiver we need this application because the android r or android 11 gsi is in dot 7z format which cannot be flashed from web recovery and we have to extract it so all you need to do is tap on the file select extract here and then we need to wait for the extract process to finish once the process has finished successfully you will see that we now have the android r or android 11 dot img file and this is the file which we need to use next thing we need to do is boot into web recovery for that the first thing we need to do is turn our phone off once our phone has turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we have booted into twerp recovery we'll go into wipe select advanced swipe and select dalvik cache and data yes those are the only three partitions which we need to select dalvik cache and data we are not going to select system and vendor once that is done you need to swipe to wipe we are getting an error that unable to decrypt FBE device and you can just ignore this error. It is in no way going to affect our flashing process. Once that is done, we'll click on the home button, go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the zip files and where you extracted the Android R or Android 11 GSI image file. In case you did that on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I've created a separate folder called R. The first file which we need to flash is the pixel experience file. So we'll select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. 
Once the zip file has installed successfully, click on the home button and then we will click on install and the next file which we need to select is the disable force encryption file. Select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now once disable force encryption file has installed successfully, make sure that it is patching some fstab file. If it is not doing that, that means no fstab was patched and your device will get encrypted. In that case, you'll go back to the home screen, go into mount, make sure vendor is mounted in case it is not and then flash the file again. At this point, we have successfully flashed the Pixel Experience ROM on our device and what we need to do next is select reboot and then select system. And there it is, we are on the setup screen of Pixel Experience. We need to do the initial setup but we'll skip everything real quick we just need to go till the home screen of pixel experience rom and there it is we are on the home screen of pixel experience we can go into settings and then we'll go into about phone and if i tap on the android version you can see that i am running android 10 on my redmi k20 pro next thing we need to do is we'll boot back into two up recovery so we're going to turn our phone off once the phone has turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time Till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we are in twerp recovery we'll click on install and then click on install image and that should show the dot img files we're going to select the android r or android 11 developer preview one dot img file on the next screen select system image and then swipe to confirm flash once the file has flashed successfully all you need to do is click on reboot system and there it is you can see that our camera popped up and that is because we just flashed android r system image this is a bug in the current build and as far as i know you need root to fix this but we do not have root for android r or android 11 at the time of recording this video however i do encourage you to keep an eye out on the pinned comment we have booted into android r or android 11 there's an internal problem with your device click on ok click on ok one more time and now we can go into settings and then we'll go into about phone and as you can see my android version was r however our device rebooted now this is an issue because the device will constantly keep rebooting how do you fix this to fix this what you need to do is you need to boot into twerp recovery forcibly how do you do that just press and hold volume up and power button at the same time and keep it pressed till the device turns off and boots into twerp recovery automatically once we have booted into twerp recovery we'll go into mount and select system and vendor once that is done click on the home button go into advanced file manager scroll down we'll go into vendor and then we'll go into a folder called overlay click on the check mark button on the bottom right and select delete swipe to confirm once that is done click on reboot system back into android 11 we'll click on ok click on ok one more time and then we can go back into settings and then we'll go into about phone and if i click on the android version it is android version r if i tap on the android version nothing happens looks like google doesn't have any easter egg for android 11 right now sim manager keeps on stopping just need to ignore it click on close app and as you can see the front camera is also popped out or popped open as i mentioned earlier for that we would need root to fix that as for what is working what is not working i just got android 11 developer preview one to boot on the redmi k20 pro i will play with it for some time and then keep on updating the current status in the pinned comment so again make sure you keep an eye out on the pinned comment and read it because if we do have any patches which we come up with those will also be mentioned in the pinned comment and there it is peeps that is how you install android r or android 11 developer preview one on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you